Many things have changed since I started as a real estate consultant more than 15 years ago. The way agents prospect, the way we serve our clients, even our prospects and clients change in terms of how they are buying and selling their properties today. Hi, I'm Samuel. I've been in this industry since 2007. Two years after I graduated from Poly, I was looking for a property to invest together with my parents since I had some CPF funds. So we saw many interesting properties during our house hunting, which was really exciting to me. I never had the chance to view so many houses before when I was younger. So my interest in properties started then. So when my brother actually chose me to attend a free property seminar to be a property agent, I immediately agreed. The rest is history. A few years after becoming an agent, I actually uh, took up a food franchise business with a friend. I enjoyed cooking, so I thought it was a good idea. However, within two weeks of opening my shop, my business partner decided to pull out and I, I couldn't find any reliable workers. I found myself instead working 13 to 14 hours a day at the shop, every day. So it was not generating passive income as I had hoped. Not only was my real estate sales affected, my relationship with family was also badly affected because the sacrifice didn't outweigh the profits. After nine months, I made that painful decision to close the business and to refocus back on my real estate business instead. So during these years, I'm seeing that many agents have moved away from being just a transactional agent. Last time, we would try to show the prospect as many viewings in a day as possible, sometimes up to five to six viewings in one day. Today, consults with clients are getting more holistic because of the many cooling measures and also concerns of older properties with the lease decay and so on. So for example, I share the downsides of an older property. I get the client to imagine what it would be like to sell that property 10, 15 years down the road. Or a young couple who intends to get a smaller three-room BTO as their first home they actually have to wait four or maybe five years to get their keys. By that time, some of them may already have two or maybe even three kids and that flat will have been too small for them even before they moved in. Consumer behaviours have changed too since. Because of the overwhelming amount of content online these days, clients want to see what value you can bring to them. I think largely brought on by the pandemic, I'm seeing more buyers and more tenants requesting for videos and virtual tours of the unit. As for sellers, they will ask if we will be providing them such services too. Having worked in this industry for so many years, I believe a good mentor who can help you to tweak your workflow, point out your blind spots, is very important in this industry. But the why you want a breakthrough is more important because it is that why that will drive you.